Hi you guys, it's Alyssa and I am back. So what we're going to do tonight is, um, I think this is just going to be a basic energy checkup. Um, you know, see where your uh, connection is, what's going on with uh, your person of interest. We're going to have three options today. This is just going to be real basic kind of old school pick a deck okay so you got three options one two and three um, hopefully this video uh, won't be uh, too long um, because it is a little late for me I do normally go to bed quite early um, I think this is the first video I've ever done at night time um, I pretty much always film in the morning, like as soon as I get up, but um, tonight I just felt like I needed to do a reading for you guys, so that's what I'm doing, and I have got my um, hot chocolate here to keep me warm on this cold winter evening. So we are uh, going to go ahead and get started, you guys. Okay, group number one. So, um, what's going on with your person of interest? Um, what is the state of this connection, basically? And um, what's the current energy looking like? So, um, on the bottom of the deck for the overall energy, we have the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles tells me that um, this is probably somebody that you are... Um, not really in contact with right now because five of pentacles is usually about um feeling um abandoned left out feeling lonely um you know it comes up a lot when people are kind of just left out in the cold by somebody else and um so i'm feeling like a lot of you guys are not in communication really with the person that you're thinking about um, however, there are a lot of good feelings, um, that this person is, has towards you. Um, we've got down here, we have the sun card and we have the page of cups. So, you know, I say this every single time this card comes out, but the sun is the best card in the deck. Um, it's just totally, you know warm, loving, happy, um, good energy, and this, the, um, the Page of Cups is, you know, cups are, cups pertain to emotions, and, um, so I, I feel like there is, they do have love for you, but it's, um, because this is a page, it's like, it's their their love for you is still kind of just a like a seed you know um it's still growing it still hasn't um it still hasn't you know reached its full potential like it they're they they care about you they love you but it has the potential to to become so much deeper you know what i'm saying and it feels as if they know this. Um, this is a connection that feels... I I don't want to say new. Um, because I feel like a lot of you guys have been dealing with this person for a little a little while. I mean, y you know, otherwise you, you wouldn't um, have this energy of, like, waiting, you know, and, and being left out. But it's, it's almost like they've they've just discovered their feelings for you, okay? Does that make sense? Um, or rediscovered them, something like that. Um, we also have the Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. So, I think your person is thinking a lot about um, the steps that they are going to take in relation to this connection that you have. 
okay? Um, it, it, it feels like, it, it kind of feels like they are, um, they've been waiting for something to happen with this Three of Wands. It could be that they've been waiting, um, trying to figure out how they want to approach you, how they want to move forward in this thing that you have with each other. Um, because obviously something happened in the past that is ca that's caused you guys to lose touch with each other. Um, but it feels like they've been they've been planning they've been planning you know their comeback basically. Um, and over here on these three cards over here are basically just you know additional cards that wanted to come out um, for you guys and the first one that we got was the strength card strength is um, the sign of Leo and so is the Sun so a lot of you guys I feel like could be dealing with somebody who has Leo in their chart um, but, you know, I, I feel like, like I said, this person has been planning something. It, it's like they've been, they've been trying to find the strength to come back towards you because it feels like, it feels like they know that they messed something up between you and, like, they they want to fix it. They're wanting to make it up to you. They they want another chance, because I mean they they care about you a lot. And like I said, it's like they've just realized or rediscovered, you know, how much they actually care about you, and that they they really do want this. They really do want to have something um, meaningful with you. The nine of cups is like. Um, you know, it's like you are, uh, they realize that they could have everything that they want, um, with you, you know, that you are, uh, you're basically everything they've ever wanted out of a, uh, partner, okay, and then also with the lover's card, it's kind of reiterating that sentiment, and also, um, with this card being here, as well as the Wheel of Fortune and the Star card, um, and the Sun card, really. Uh, I feel like a lot of you guys are dealing with somebody who is a soulmate, possibly a twin, flame. Um, but, I mean, we have several major arcanas here, and so it's like this energy is very strong. Um, it's like this connection is very deep and, you know, it serves a, a higher purpose, okay? For the past energy between you, we have the Page of Swords. So, I feel like for a lot of you, this was a relationship that never really got off the ground. You know, you spent a lot of time maybe talking with each other, you know, maybe like, you know, figuring out... Um, kind of, kind of getting a feel for each other, you know, figuring out how things might work between you, but then it just never really, never really got anywhere. Something happened and it just kind of got, um, it, it just got stuck, you know, but now it's like, we have several cards that talk about movement and so, now it feels like this person that you're dealing with that you're asking about is um they're they're working on coming back towards you because we have the chariot and we have the eight of wands um both of these cards are about movement and change and the eight of wands is also about communication so if this is somebody that you haven't had contact with really um i would say that you should expect to hear from them uh soon okay because um you know the chariot and this the eight of wands is uh it, it's kind of fast moving energy so i i feel like you could um you you might hear from them soon okay in the near future
for the future energy, we have the two of pentacles. So this is somebody finding balance. This is somebody making a decision. Um, this could be uh, your person, you know, finding the balance between what they want and um, I want to say what they're willing to make the effort to get. I feel like for some of you, this person, the reason why it didn't work out was because they had a lot of fear pertaining to the connection. Um, and if if this is a high-level soulmate, that would kind of make sense because those connections can feel very strong and they can be very uh, intimidating, kind of frightening. Because it's, you know, it's not like anything you felt before. And it makes you feel vulnerable. So I feel like this is your person, you know, making the choice to pursue what they want, which is you, and finding a balance, you know, um, overcoming their fears, um, making the effort to repair this, this uh, relationship. For their intentions, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, first of all, um, which the Wheel of Fortune is another card that talks about movement, okay? The wheel is turning, okay? They, they intend to, they intend to, uh, you know, make, make a move, um, move this connection forward, okay? And this also is a card that, for me, you know, it always makes me think of divine guidance, divine timing, being at work here, which would make sense also if this is a um, soulmate connection. Okay, so I I do think that they are intending to come towards you, which again, um, Six of Swords, that's pretty much what this card talks about as well. The Six of Swords is also about movement, um, and it's about coming back together, you know, coming together, um, getting, being on the same page, um, coming into calmer waters. All right. And then also the four of pentacles wanted to come out. So this, I think is just saying that your person intends to hold on to this connection. They're not, um, they, they have no intention of letting, letting it go and forgetting about it. Okay. I don't think that they are intending to move on from it by any means. Um, and then for the potential outcome, we have the star card. So the star card is another one that talks sometimes about, you know, divine guidance, divine timing, and it's also about renewal. So I'm, I'm thinking that the outcome for this is going to be that this connection is going to be renewed, okay? It's going to get, like, a new lease on life, so to speak. Um, and the two of you will be able to kind of you know, start over again and create something together that is going to be mutually beneficial and satisfying. Okay. I feel like I need to pull out one of these oracle cards. So I'm going to do that really quickly. message do you have for group number one the wedding card fell out so um yeah I mean that's pretty self-explanatory I think that this connection is far from over so if you have been feeling like you know maybe um this person is you know, maybe all hope is lost and this person's never going to contact you again. I don't think that's the case. I think they're going to. We have a lot of cards that are indicating that they are intending and um, actively trying to come back towards you. You know, right now they're trying to build up the strength. They're trying to um, plan how they're going to do it, what they're going to say, um, trying to overcome their fear. But I think they're going to, and um, I think things are going to work out for the best. Okay, you guys?
So group number one, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed. I hope the reading resonated with you. Feel free to let me know your thoughts. I love to read uh, you, your comments. And um, thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time. Bye. All right, you guys, group number two, what is going on with your person of interest? Where is the connection at um, energetically right now? Um, there are people downstairs talking really loudly, and I hope you can't hear it. <laughs> um, if you can, I'm sorry. Um, okay. So... For the overall energy, on the bottom of this deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is a card that is about, you know, um, for me, this card is all about independence and being content, you know, with yourself. And the um, in the traditional tarot, the woman on the card, uh, uh, on the Nine of Pentacles, is... Um, you know, I, I see her as somebody who is very um, happy, you know, with where she's at in life, who is, you know, determined to make the most of her circumstances, no matter what they are, and who just, you know, is enjoying um, life as it is and enjoying just taking kind of kind of taking things as they come. You know what I mean? So I feel like for some of you, that may be the kind of energy that you are in, um, which is a good thing. Or it could be that that is the kind of energy that you are trying to embody, okay? Um, so with your person, I'm seeing that... I'm seeing that this is someone who is not very stable okay because we have the devil card here the devil is um this card can talk about addictions uh of any kind um it can talk about feeling confined feeling trapped by something um and we also have the three of cups which you know so sometimes this card makes me think of like somebody who, you know, parties too much, parties too hard, um, especially when it comes out with the devil card. So I feel like this could be someone who, uh, <coughs> is not really doing well, um, maybe mentally, emotionally. I feel as if there are things that they are trying to forget or things that they are trying to not think about. But we also have here the King and Queen of Pentacles. It's like they see you as someone who is very stable, who very much has it together. Um, I think that they admire that about you. They, they admire how, you know, how, how well put together you are. And I feel like they, they like that. They're kind of attracted to that. They're drawn to that. But at the end of the day, it's like, that's not really what they want. I'm seeing that there, there's a strong possibility that there is a third party situation here. Because we have three, we have three threes, um, three of cups, three of swords, and three of wands that came out. So I think there could be a third party, um, and that doesn't necessarily have to be, um, another person that this person is involved with. Um, it could be, you know, an addiction, like with the devil card, it, it could be, um, you know, sometimes it can be a job, sometimes it can represent family, um, anything that is kind of competing, I guess, um, for their attention, you know, with you. It's like, because I'm seeing that your person is, um, 
trying to make some kind of decision. They're trying to find some kind of balance. They're trying to decide something. Uh, because for the present energy, we have the Lover's card, which, again, is another card that can talk about third-party situations. And it can talk about um, having a choice to make. So I feel like your person currently is trying to choose between, you know, do they want to continue... Um, living the life that they are living now? Do they want to keep their options open? Do they want to, um, you know, have a good time? Do they want to keep playing the field? Or do they want to go towards you and choose stability and choose, you know, a, I want to say choose a, a calmer um more stable, settled kind of life, kind of relationship. For the past energy, we have the strength card. So, um, I feel like some of you guys in the past, um, kind of enjoyed this person's, you know, fun, fun loving, um, nature, uh, yeah. I'm seeing that some of you guys, you know, when you first met this person, it was like, you know, it was like they knew how to have a good time and you, you loved hanging out with them for that reason. But, you know, as time went on, it was like, okay, um, it became clear to you that they were kind of immature and, um, they weren't capable of giving you the, the relationship that you wanted. Okay. Um, and I think it became clear to them as well that they couldn't give you what you wanted. Um, for the future energy, we have the Six of Pentacles. So this is kind of interesting. The Six of Pentacles normally talks about reciprocation. It talks about being generous. It talks about equal give and take. Um, open communication is also one way that I interpret it. So I feel like some of you are possibly going to have communication from this person if you are not in contact with them now and um f also for some of you I'm seeing that if if you are in contact with this person I feel like it is mostly you that's doing all the work that's putting in most of the effort um you know you're the one who texts first you're the one who calls first you know, you're the one who's always reaching out first. Um, and, you know, that kind of imbalance in a relationship is going to, it's going to wear you out quickly. And I think you are already aware of that. So I'm, I'm feeling like for some of you, if that's the case for you, if that's what's going on here, um, I'm thinking that you're going to realize that it's not, right now, this connection is not worth um, all of that energy that you're putting into it. And you're going to, you know, kind of take, um, reclaim uh, your time and reclaiming your time. Anyway, um, <laughs> you're going to reclaim that time and energy that you've been putting into this connection and you're going to say, okay, enough is enough. I'm not getting back what I'm putting out. So I'm going to, you know, I'm going to make the most of this situation and I'm going to be happy. I'm going to accept things the way they are. And I'm going to live my life. All right. Um, so for this person's intentions, we got the Five of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. So I really don't see this person um, having any intentions of, right now at least, having any intentions of making things any better between you. Um, in fact, I, I see them possibly pulling away even further with this the Five of Pentacles being here. So, um, because it just, it just feels like they're not ready, they're not capable of, you know, giving you what you need of, you know, 
being mature and being involved in something that is equal, you know, where, where they are putting in just as much effort as you are, you know, they're not, they're not in that in the in the right space in the right headspace for that um right now they're in this energy where they're just kind of taking and taking and taking and taking um they're like a a vacuum you know they're just sucking up everybody's energy and and taking and not giving anything back so for the potential outcome we've got the two of pentacles which this card talks about finding balance and it talks about making a de decision. So I think that um, you're going to be able to find balance in this situation. And I do think that you are going to decide to, you know, ultimately um, step away from this situation, step away from this person, at least for the time being. Um, this doesn't have to be a permanent, you know, separation, but... Um, you know, as it is right now, I don't think that uh, this person is going to make any efforts to um, do better. Um, and I think you know that. So I'm, I'm seeing you choosing to uh, just retreat from, from the situation and take back control of your life, take back control of your emotions, because I feel like some of you guys have really been feeling controlled by this person or by this situation with them. Um, and I do think that, you know, in the future, and I'm talking like distant future, there is potential for something, uh, for something new to come out of this situation because we have the ace of pentacles and the judgment card um also the three of wands which talks about you know um the future you know what is what is on the horizon so i am seeing that there is potential for this connection to be renewed to heal to ha um get a new beginning but you know that's um that's not going to happen anytime soon. I'm feeling like that is, you know, very far off in the future. Um, probably several years, I would say, for most of you. Um, I'm going to get one card out of this deck. Just see what else, um, what other messages there are for you today. Stay optimistic. Even though this situation is is not going to play out the way that you hoped it would or maybe um, expected it to, that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you, okay? And there are more things out there for you, okay? There are bigger and better things um, out there in the world waiting for you to, you know, to, to find them, okay? So group two, that is your reading for tonight. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope that it resonated with you. Let me know your thoughts. I love to read your comments, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time. And we are going to move on now to group number three. Okay, group three, what is going on with your person of interest? Where is the connection at currently? Um, so the overall energy here on the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is, um, I mean, she's a very, uh, she's a figure that is full of love and, um, emotion. She's also kind of intuitive. She, uh, she is associated with, you know, psychic, uh, abilities. So, um, you guys who chose this option could be intuitive yourselves. Um, but, you know, more generally, I think that's just an, an indication that, um, you and the person that you are thinking about have, um, a lot of feelings for each other. And 
you know, there is, there is love in this situation. Okay. Now, as far as how they're feeling, um, I think this person has a lot of attraction towards you. They have a lot of passion about you when it comes to you and this connection. Um, because over here we have the Page of Wands and then we also have the Knight of Wands. So these two cards are kind of similar. Um, it's just like the Knight energy is a bit more mature than the um, Page energy. So it's like... I feel like this person wants to, this person's feelings for you are very strong and passionate, um, but this may be somebody who, um, who burns out quickly, okay, and that could be what's happened between you in the past, because I'm seeing here the Two of Wands and the Four of Cups. So the Two of Wands, this is about choices. Um, it's also about determination. And sometimes, you know, it's like a decision that's already been made. Um, and then the Four of Cups, this card a lot of times talks about uncertainty and indecision. Um, but sometimes it's more like... feel like this person did something to hurt you and they know that they hurt you and now this is kind of just them they're feeling very um they're fe feeling very sad about it they feel kind of defeated and I'm, I'm getting that they feel they just feel stupid they just feel stupid for what they did and it's like they know that they they want to make it up to you somehow and they want to move back towards you. Um, they want to make you a, another offer. We have the Page of Pentacles. Um, but they know that they are... They're going to have to be pragmatic about it. And pragmatism, I feel like, is not their strong suit. So they're being very slow. This could be um, something that was like... This could have been kind of like a whirlwind um, kind of thing in the past, or it could have been like a friends with benefits kind of situation, and then things fell apart, and now they want to come back towards you, um, and they want to, you know, offer you something more solid, more stable, more grounded. Um, for the past energy, we do have, you know, somebody, somebody left somebody else, you know, out, um, feeling alone and abandoned. Um, this card also can talk about, uh, instability. So, you know, it could have been that the, the relationship in the past was too unstable and, you know, you and the other person just didn't know where you wanted it to go. So now you've moved away from each other and you're in this three of swords energy currently. So this card is about grief and sadness and heartbreak. And, um, you know, there are two figures on this card. So I feel like this is both of you are feeling this way. Um, but for the future energy, we have the death card. And this card talks about transformations. So I'm seeing that somebody is maturing. And this connection has is, is going to transform in some way. For their intentions, we have the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So it's like they intend to, they want to start something new with you, okay? They want to, you know, um, rekindle this relationship and they want to do it um, in a way that is really straightforward, really upfront. You know, they don't want um, feelings to be hidden away this time. You know, they want... Um, they want to be real with you about their feelings and their expectations, and they want you to do the same, okay? And for the potential outcome, we have the Eight of Wands. 
So this is actually a really good card. Um, the Eight of Wands is about change and action and communication. So if you're not in contact with this person, you're definitely going to get back in contact with them. And also, you know, this relationship as it is, is going to change dramatically um, for the better. Um, because this card is, you know, in my experience, is almost always has positive connotations. Um, I'm seeing the two of you coming back together, you know, getting onto the same page with this Six of Swords. And, you know, in the past, like I said, it, it felt like you you guys didn't know what to do, where to go with this connection. Um, there was some indecision. There was some stagnation with the Hanged Man. But I feel like you're going to be able to, you know, speak freely with each other and, you know, be able to communicate um, exactly how you feel and exactly what you want and what you expect out of this connection. And um, you're going to be able to start over um, with a clean slate, really. And I do feel like it's going to be more solid this time, a little more grounded and a little less... Um, I mean, obviously, there's still going to be that attraction between you, but um, I don't think that it's going to be based solely on that, whereas in the past it may have been. Okay? So I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you now and just see what else they have to say for you guys. Okay, there's the wedding card. So, um, the wedding card also came out for group number one. So, this is, um, this connection does have the potential to lead to marriage or, you know, to lead to that level of commitment. So, I think that's, um, I think that's pretty encouraging, I guess. I mean, I guess if you, if you actually want this person, <laughs> um, if you don't want them, then, uh, I guess just, I, whatever. I don't know. Ignore them. Um, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, group number three, that's your reading. I hope it resonated with you. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to let me know your thoughts. I do love to read your comments. Um, I hope that I see you next time in the next video. And, um, if you're from a previous group and you're still here, thank you so much for sticking around. I want to say that I really, really appreciate you guys, um, all of your support. It really means a lot to me. It's, uh, it's kind of amazing, you know, being able to do this and being able to, like, help people and give people actual insight into, you know, what's going on in their lives. And, you know, I'm talking about, you know, in my private readings, but also just, you know, with these general ones as well. Um, it's, it's really, uh, it's very satisfying, you know, being able to do this. Um, all my links are in the description box. If you want to buy a private reading from me, or if you just want to donate to the channel, um, whatever you're into. Uh, thank you again for watching guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and I hope I see you next time. Bye.